It's an incredibly diverse neighborhood, so we've got folks from all over the world that call our neighborhood home. Turner Bitten lives in the Glendale neighborhood and is the chairman of the Glendale Neighborhood Council, representing an area with approximately 20,000 residents. It's not atypical for us to hear gunshots, especially as summer comes around. But Bitten says a string of recent incidents involving four shootings in the neighborhood is out of the norm. To have this many shootings involving injuries in such a short period of time. It's definitely frustrating and it's concerning. The two latest shootings happening in the past week, leading to two deaths. Last Sunday, Salt Lake Police say dispatchers received calls of a shooting in the area of 1800 West Fortune Road. When officers arrived, they found the victim, 30-year-old Nico Christopher Patino, who had been shot. He would die at the scene. Officials say it appeared there was a fight that led up to that shooting. Just two days later, police say an argument between two people led to a shooting just after 4 p.m. in the area of 3200 West Decade Drive. When officers and paramedics arrived, they found 42-year-old Thomas Priest lying on the ground with a gunshot wound. He would die at the scene. 59-year-old David Chase was arrested on one count of murder and booked into the Salt Lake County Metro Jail. We do recognize that there has been a few um, high-profile incidents in these areas. Uh, but we just want to let our community members know that we are addressing these issues. Officer Yair Javed is with the Salt Lake City Police Department. We do have different resources such, such as um, West Side Bikes, um, bike units that are um, primarily uh, over that area, over the west side, um, that are continuously patrolling, um, trying to minimize these um, criminal activities in that area. While police say overall crime has been down 9% in the Glendale neighborhood, they say the amount of shootings in the area recently is abnormal. Officer Javade says the community is the department's eyes and ears and that they use their help to combat situations like this. We are going to use our resources where we um, believe that it's going to be needed um, based on the stats that we have, based on the community members that are calling. I think the most important thing, communicate, communicate, communicate. If you see something, say something, report it to law enforcement, either through the emergency line or the non-emergency line. Well, Bitten tells me they plan to have the local detective assigned to this area, as well as the gang sergeant, attend their next community meeting to talk about these issues. Here in the Glendale neighborhood, Chris Arnold, Fox 13 News, Utah.